Well, good morning, viewers. I'm here with Doug from Tonic. How you going, my friend? How you going, Michael? Good, mate. Yeah, it's I've good done to you. See you. I've done you a favour, mate. And you'd have to send them out to me this time. I'm here to. I'm here to pick up an order. Yeah, he's actually come here to finally get some stock <laughs> of the slice leads. <laughs> yes, we're moving in the new place, and uh, we are filling the whole shop full of tonics, mate. Beautiful. That's what we like to hear. And uh, and why not? Because you've got this the new slice lens. Yes. Now you've just shown me a few of the samples on the weight of this lens compared to the other. The other one was very light, and this is extraordinarily light, mate. This is ridiculous. It, it, you know, the old lenses were one point eight mil. Uh, we've now dropped the weight, and but kept them tonic. You know, you reduce the weight in something, but we've definitely kept them tonic as far as the quality goes. Um, it, it, so I'll show you, Michael. You know, you've got the old lens here. It's one point eight mil. And then we've gone down to uh, 1.3 millimeters. So, you know, and they're definitely glass. It make you nervous when you do that. And uh, <laughs> they're still pretty strong. I mean, they're people ask strong. the question, would they or are they very strong or whatever? Um, you know, we've dropped them. We've done a lot of tests here. We've got world standards on the lenses. Um, everything's how it should be. But uh, incredible, the visual that you'll get out of these. Uh, Optically, they're probably the clearest thing that I've ever, ever seen, um, unbeknownst to me. I didn't really think that it would be out like this so soon. We were expecting another three or four years before we could actually finish this sort of technology. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad they've come out as soon as they have, mate, because uh, I drove down here and forgot my sonnies. Yeah, you poor bugger. I oh, know. My eyes were hurting because yeah. I'm always wearing them, so I might have to uh, go home with a pair, I think. I think you might have to, somehow. <laughs> Excellent. So, Doug, tell me. The new lenses, are they in stores right now? Yes, they are. Excellent. They're all in store, so please feel free to go and purchase them. That's uh, Pack and Tackle? Yes, definitely <laughs> Pack and Tackle. Definitely go and see in, in any In any good retailing outlet that sells good fishing gear and good sunglasses, yes. you're going to find Tonic Eyewear. Oh, absolutely. No problems at all. You'll see them all over Australia, uh, New Zealand, uh, a lot of export now. Uh, it's a very much in demand product. Uh, overseas we're getting a lot of demand because of the new slice lens and it is the thinnest and lightest glass lens, polarised glass lens in the world. And three new colours. Three new colours. We've got silver, we've got green and we've got of course the red lens. I must admit the green looks pretty impressive. I've it's always loved the, bl the blue mirrors have been my favourite. Yes. Always been my favourite. Um, but I reckon these green ones might just top them. Yeah we might come to, we might come to doing some blue in the, in the soon but at the moment, we've got those three colours. Yeah. Uh, they're very significant. A lot of saturation in the back end of the lens, uh, and it's not all all about the mirror. It's what's behind the mirror that really does count. But generally, it's a pretty it's nice. Usually, lens. my ugly mug behind. Well, you know, well, we try. We try to. We <laughs> they try make to me look it. a bit better, though. I must admit. Well, look, I, I don't know, but look, look at. I've certainly got a face for radio <laughs> and not for TV. I can assure you. Well, you've heard it here. If you don't have a pair, get a pair. You will not regret it. Doug, it's been a pleasure. My pleasure, Michael. Thank you for coming in. No worries, mate. Appreciate it. Have a great day. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, so we've ventured down to Brighton Pier once again. And look who we've got here on the pier. Paul Carter. How you going, mate? How you going, Mick? Good, buddy. Good. Staying out of trouble, I can see. <laughs> almost. <laughs> yeah, almost. You are... Uh, Throwing a few jigs around over there. Yeah, I'm here with actually there's a Facebook group of the blokes over here called Squiddick. And uh, they every now and then have a get together. I've got to come down and have a yak with them. And okay. lo and behold, we run into a couple of blokes from Packenham stand on a pier <laughs> as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty rough ground, mate, because it's uh, quite a nice area with all the cars I've seen in the car park. Yours one of them, wasn't it? That stretch limo with the champagne bottles in the back? Yeah, no, nah, it was a stretch Prado, mate. But, yeah. <laughs> so, um, the fishing channel. Yeah, How's yeah. How's it going? Oh, it's going. Yep. It's going. It's uh, look with all uh, with all new projects. Obviously, it's a bit of a, a slow start, but uh, yeah, we hope that uh, we'll have our smart TV apps yep. ready to download to Android yeah. and Apple. That's a bit fancy. In the next couple of months. So oh, nice. yeah, we're kicking some goals. Yep. We're going off to do a bit more event stuff rather than just yep. uh, just being something that's online. We want to get out there and engage with the people. Just watch back. Sorry, folks. It's our fault. I'm too fat for everyone to get past. <laughs> yeah. Well, both of us together, mate. That's right. Yeah. Beer. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go into that digital age now with the digital TVs, with the smart TVs, and yep. people can just download the app and watch whatever they like, when they like, including Ausfish TV. That's exactly right, mate. We've got one episode on there so far. That's right, and we'll hope to have a lot more in the coming weeks. Very, very soon. No worries. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to get my float in the water, mate, and try and get myself a little pinky. And I'm going to keep trying to pretend to catch a swim. <laughs> Don't let these boys show you up, mate. Right? They will. They will. Thanks, Good Bob. to see you, Mick. Cheers, mate. That's something that stole my few beautiful fresh pieces of squid. What do you got there, mate? 
Ah, uh, crab. He's a big size crab. Good one. one. Oh, hey. That's a big sand crab, mate. Right? I don't think he's even got claws. No, he's got... No. He hasn't. He's got no claws. Well, that's a bit... Uh, how do you do, isn't it? Yeah, look at the size of him. He is the size of a palm, no problem. <laughs> and they've been off for a while. That's a snapper snatcher. So it's a crab snatcher now. That's <laughs> a crab snatcher. Got him right in the joint too. That's why he wasn't eating off. <laughs> Some people do eat these, but I don't. Oh, you're eating crab. Gumbo. Yeah. Go back to the... Most of us enjoy fishing, but young Hoff just loves it. Doesn't matter what sort of fishing it is, he absolutely loves it. So when we get bored and we're not catching anything, he breaks out the old black, black magic leader out of his bag and makes a hand line squidgy. Nothing wrong with trying to MacGyver up some bait. Well, that's, that's very true, mate. Better off trying than failing than not trying at all. That's right. Just well, never if you catch a squid, mate, I'll be the first one to uh, ask for a tentacle. <laughs> Well, it boat. paid off, Jesse. Yes, like I said, it's always worth trying. With your uh, you never know funky rig you've made there, mate. Let's uh, hope he doesn't drop off on the way up. There's another one under him, actually. I can see it in the water. I'll get that jig straight back down to him as soon as I can. There is one bait that's trying to ink me. And that is going straight back to the other squid. <laughs> you hooked up here, mate. Let me help you out here, buddy. <laughs> There you go. Bait on the hand line. I just can't get over that hat you're wearing, mate. It's taking the focus off the fish. It's fantastic. It's always worth putting down a hand line. Because you never know if you can get yourself some fresh, free bait. That's great, mate. Well done. Generally pays off. Now, like I said, I saw a second one down there. Fingers crossed. He take that to you. Both of it hanging up. I just fix that up in a second. I can see him. He's behind it. He's actually watching that jig. So I will try and entice him to take it. There's a couple actually. There he goes, he's on it. He's on it. <laughs> he's too. That's number yeah. two. There's the ink. I can see the ink. How's that? That's great. Who needs a rod? <laughs> two floats, two jigs. Exactly yeah, right. I've got it tangled up there nicely, mate. This isn't even a proper hand line. This that is must, just is a it... bit of a black magic leader I found in your bag, Nick. Yeah, thanks for that. That's uh, my leader. That's the most expensive um, hand line I've ever seen because that is fluorocarbon leader you're using. Well, it does the job. <laughs> I'm happy, mate. You're catching us some freshies. Let's see if there's any more. Well, Show me that jig, mate, quickly. That's the uh, up now. That's that white glowing. It's the black magic. The black magic one. Squid snatch. Now I'm just going to put it on the camera light to blow it up quickly. I'll turn that light off. Let's blow up a treat. Right, we're on our way to another destination, fishing down at uh, Brighton Pier of all places. And um, here's one of my old glow sticks from the other night. Now, a lot of people buy glow sticks, they use them once, they throw them away, but you don't have to do that. I shouldn't be telling you that as a tackle shop owner, but as you can see, it's not the, uh, it's been probably in my car for a few days. Okay, so she's she's pretty much out of glow, but there's a way of recharging these glow sticks. What you gotta do, heat them up. So I'm gonna stick it in the heater vent here. Turn the heater up. You don't even have to do it for very long. Once they heat up, yeah, it's been in there for not even 30 seconds. I'll turn that down and look at that. fully charged glow stick so you can get a couple good days out of your glow sticks just a good tip for you guys out there all right let's go fishing
Got it. He's got a bit of fight at his body. Woo! There we go. Got the neck going. Oh, he's not that big anyway. That's alright. The salmon bot, look at it. <laughs> and a big one. Bring him up, mate. Oh, oh he's a big salmon too. There we go. Bring him up, bring him up. Good. That's it. Yep. Oh. Gotta love land based nets. <laughs> Look at that, mate. It's not a bad salmon. Not bad at all. It's not a snapper or after, but. It took off like one. He did, mate. He did. That's a, cr that's a huge salmon. I thought there might have been a few around for that bite you got before. Yeah, we had a really big hit before on the rod. And um, Jesse even said to me, he goes, that oh, it was a snapper or a salmon. That's a that's quite a big salmon, mate. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Wait. There you go. Decent sized salmon. Very decent sized salmon, mate. Plenty of strength and muscle to him. Did have me thinking it was a snapper, but I'm not going to complain. You're right. The hook's actually gone right through. Yeah, he's going through one side now. That's that's for, for this Brian, size. Brian Pier, awesome mate, that, that is a that is a great salmon, mate. That is really good. Now, um, take note of this hat. See this hat? Lucky we're, hat. We've been down on Brighton Pier. Um, how many nights, mate? I don't know how many nights we've been down here. A lot. Uh, the past <laughs> couple of months, we've been down here a lot. Um, just trying to show you what you can get off Brighton Pier. Obviously, this is one of the one of the species you can get down here. Um, but this is also another one of the species. It's called a koala. Uh, not a drop bear, because it hasn't got red eyes and claws, but anyway. The funny thing is, the only two <laughs> times that we've done well down here, I've been wearing it. Yeah, 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 he's lucky hat. You know what, I can't I can't argue with that because he's right. Oh, good work. Australian salmon. And quite a big one for the bay.